I want to be remembered by my story and by where I came from. I want to be remembered for being the guy who helped hundreds and thousands of people's lives. I truly want to be remembered for the legacy that I'm going to build here. I'm in the perfect facet of the insurance world with the best company to do it. Yeah, growing up for me was very simple. It was God, school, family. I have two sets of parents. They've been together pretty much my whole lives, both, all four of them, and they have always taken me in, no matter what. I was not the ideal role model. I was not a good kid. They'll tell you up and down that I was, but <laughs> God bless them for that. But let's just be honest, I was a I was not a good individual until I was probably about 24 years old. They wanted me to go to school. I wanted to be a doctor, an attorney, and you know I, I still have 86 credits in college that I'm not doing anything with. And to be honest, I found sales, I found insurance, I knocked doors, I did everything against that way of living. And my family always supported me. From dropout to success story. It doesn't get any better than that. I found AO through Mark Nielsen and Roy Stevens and Clint Perry. We were on a, a boating trip. We were in Lake Powell and Mark, I heard he flew in on a helicopter and then spent the weekend with us and I got to know him pretty well. And he showed me a paycheck. I called him a couple of weeks later. He showed me a paycheck of like $28,000 in a week. I passed my exam 10 days later and I was driving out to San Jose to begin my training. In my first five months with AO, I became an MGA and I net over $64,000. But I decided to leave at the end of 2018 and go into the IMO business where I built an agency to $400,000 a month by mid-2020. I just listened to the noise. I got caught up in, in, in thinking that there was a better, you know, there was something over the horizon that really, quite frankly, never even paid me what I ever felt like I was worth. So, but, but to me, that's, that's really how I grew. I think my story in this business is one of the uh, best stories to tell right now in the whole industry. This time last year, I was managing an agency with an IMO. It's very simple. I left because I could not stand waking up on Monday with $3,000 in my account and then getting hit with a $2,200 lead bill. And that Friday I've got bills coming out and I'm going, okay, now, I gotta, now we gotta go make something happen here really quick because now I have no money in my account. You know, the IMO business, it's like, it's like gambling. You walk in with $500, you give your money to the, to the casino, Sometimes you walk away winning, sometimes you walk away even, sometimes you lose it all. Well, I want to be somewhere where everybody wins. AO welcomed me back in November of 2020 and since then I've net over $40,000 in my account, which is three times what I net as a vice president during the same time last year. I came to AO because we're virtual, a company who will meet with me and train me and teach me, but also supply the leads in a niche market. I came to AO because now I can train agents all over the nation in all 50 states and I can do it virtually. I'm here at AO because the opportunity is truly unlimited. Can we go back? This is the moment, tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can. I had my daughter on February 11th of 2020, and that completely changed my life. It was the day that I, I looked into her eyes, 
that I realized I'm going to be successful and I am going to do whatever it takes to make it. She will never go without as long as I'm alive and I'm breathing. And to me, that's what's most important. People can say what they want about me, but I don't want to be the dad who buys my daughter a thousand dollar car when she turns 16. If she wants the Tesla, well, she'll have the Tesla. To be completely honest, my why is Hallie Mae Harden. She's everything to me. When I think about her, when I wake up and I don't want to do something, I change it. When my leaders or my mentors tell me, hey John, you're in your head, you're not doing things correctly, why don't you try this? I listen. I've always been the guy who bounces around company to company, opportunity to opportunity, sign on bonus to sign on bonus, give me all the money, I'm the best ever. But what, what worth is the best ever for only six months? Is that, is that sustainable? Is that gonna allow you to build a business and, a, and an empire and something that's gonna feed your family when you die? No. So get out of your ways, listen to your mentors, and go do what you know you're supposed to do, which is become successful, build an empire, and make sure your daughter never goes without. And I just live by that every single day. The most exciting thing for me is when I get phone calls from my agents about their success. When I have a new agent call me and say, hey, I flipped an appointment, I got them on Zoom, and I sold them right then and there, call to close. Oh. I mean, there's not a better phone call in the world. We have such a good culture and we have such a great team here. When I get to watch one of my managers take on a new agent who just started, who was just hired, that's not even on their team, take a new guy and say, jump in my Zoom, I wanna show you an appointment. That is one of the most powerful things that you can ever witness inside of a deal, is when you have managers, agents alike, all helping each other towards the same goal. That is culture. That is something that is cultivating success and true wealth, long-term success, long-term wealth. Because when I can hire somebody and plug them in and I know they're gonna be taken care of whether I can do it or not, that's when you have something that's gonna last a life. I resent every day that I spent not growing. I resent every time I settled for less than I was worth. I used to work to pass the time, and now I work to savor it. I know what it's like to waste talent. I know what it's like to work for people that will do anything to hold you back. Not this time. We're building a safe haven for people like me who just need to be treated fair. No politics, no overhead, no taking from you to give to me. One comp, one niche, and one opportunity that is truly unlimited.